Welcome to Tech Brothers Dhamir. In this video, we are going to learn how to limit the number of rows per page in SSRS report, but we will be using a parameter to pass that value. So we will give this option to the user so they can pass that value, like okay, they want to see the 10 number of rows per page or 20 or 30. So they can pass that value and change the display according to their choices. So let's go ahead and create that report so we can uh, give that permission to the users. Now, let me take to the SSMS uh, SQL Server Management Studio and I have a query that is uh, selecting uh, the data from sales uh, total table and I have uh, 176 records uh, and uh, this uh, table is in the sales uh, database. Now, let's go to SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, and then uh, our report project is already created. So what we need to do, we need to just create a new report and we have shared data source that's pointing to the sales database. If you don't know how to create a, a SSRS project or shared data source, you can watch my previous videos in this tutorial and you will learn it. Right click on the report, so add and a new item. Now go to report and let's add a new report. We call this one uh, rows per page and uh, by parameter so we are controlling by the parameter add empty report will be created now click on the data sources and here you can create embedded data source or use the shared data source in this case we are going to use the shared one so we call it DS sales and use a shared data source reference click OK now come to the data set and use the query to create this data set we call it D set and let's call this one sale total it is going to be embedded uh, and then we select our DS sales uh, data source and uh, just paste our query here. So we are good. If you can see here, I did not create uh, the parameter in this uh, query. That will create a static parameter in the report. Uh, so hit OK. Now let's go ahead and create a uh, insert a table and bring some fields. Uh, so in this case, we want the first name, last name of salesperson, product name, and that's all we want in. So now expand a little bit so we can see the reports very well click here just bold it and uh, put the background color for the header column row so we can see a nice report and it's coming just correct but right now we don't know how many records are really displayed on each of the page so let's build that logic and then uh, use the parameter so now wh how we are going to build this uh, uh, logic we are going to insert a, a column on the right I want to show you what exactly we are going to use here so we will be using a uh, sorry right click click here and then go to the expressions we'll be using a row number function so row number with nothing that's on data set level I can write the data set name here with double quotes around it or I can use nothing so it means a data set level so give me the row number on data set level for if we run this one we will get the rows starting from one all the way if you go we have total 176 records so that's all the row numbers that come in what we want to do we want to sh I want to show you if we go ahead and insert another column on the right and use the same thing in the expression so we say row number and then say nothing and then divide by 10 so it will create those decimal and some uh, whole numbers so as you can see it is creating 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.03 and then we have 10 divided by 10 1 then we have 11 divided by 10 1.1 so if you see here these are decimal numbers and then we have whole number if we use the ceiling function that will return us the first whole number after these decimals so it is going to return now for these values of 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and all that if I use the ceiling function it will return me the one for all these are 10 records then for all the next 10 1.1 1.2 it is going to return me 2 so that's our ceiling function will return us the next whole number uh, and uh, we can use uh, that number to group them so let's, let's go ahead and use the ceiling function here so I want to show you how it work and write uh, and then we will go to expressions and in the expression we'll write ceiling and then inside the ceiling we'll say row number and uh, in uh, here we say nothing on data set level divided by 10 and uh, that's what we are using let me copy this part and hit ok now we will see that uh, okay we have uh, this row numbers one to uh, all the way to the data set level then we have this uh, we values we got uh, a row number divided by 10 uh, as we want to divide uh, these uh, groups into the um, 10 rows uh, and then this is the ceiling value we got 
So with ceiling, we got uh, one for all those first 10 records, two for a uh, uh, next 10 records and 3 for uh, next 10 records so we got uh, this value if I group by by using this value I can uh, then group uh, and use the page break uh, to break the number of rows uh, per these uh, values uh, so I can go ahead and do it now I can go ahead uh, here and uh, right click add parent uh, group uh, and uh, now instead of uh, providing the value here I can use the fx uh, that's uh, our uh, expression we use the expressions and that will work just fine hit okay now we are fine here one thing if we will try to preview it will throw error as the sorting is not allowed when you are using row number function so we go back and then go to the group right click here group properties and then remove the sort so click here delete and then on the page break we can use between each instance of group so that's gonna split our um, records per group on per page so let's see what will happen now now one for group one we see that okay these 10 records are coming here and then we have for two we have on the next and that's how we are getting records on each of the page and we are getting 10 records per page you can see the values from 21 to 30 then from 31 to 40 so that's how we are getting these values but one thing here few things I want to show you one these 10 number what we have uh, put it here that's constant number if we want to see 20 records uh, there is no option we can uh, do that so i'm not going to delete these all columns i'm going to leave them here so let's uh, create a parameter now go to the parameter add a parameter and then we call this one uh, row numbers sorry rows per per page so let's create this a static parameter and we will say enter row numbers okay row rows per page so, okay now this is going to be integer type so that's fine and uh, this is going to be visible we want it visible available values we can write some values and uh, in the drop down we can provide and uh, let's say right now we don't do anything or maybe we ju just go ahead and default add a default value and say 10 so that's what default we want to say okay hit okay now this value is not used anywhere so see it is using 10 even if we use 20 so the results here are not changing because we haven't used this parameter so we go to the design come back to the group and go to the properties and here in the expressions we have to write that parameter value here instead of 10 so now we have a rows per page come here double click remove 10 and paste just double click here so now with these row numbers we are dividing with parameter values instead of dividing with hard code 10 we are dividing with the parameter values so hit okay and now we are okay and that's the we will be saying okay it is shown as 10 values because we have already used 10 as a default so let's do 5 now if you take a look we are returning only five records per page so you can go ahead and take a look now let's uh, go ahead and delete this column we don't need this one delete this column so when we say delete columns and associated group don't do that because we don't want to delete the group we want to delete only the columns because if we delete the group then our logic will be invalid so that's where we have uh, divided or put the page breaks per group so just delete the columns we don't need the column and here these columns can be also deleted you can delete these columns and uh, let's say do one more thing let's put a page uh, header and uh, here we can insert a, a text box and say sale report now let's make this one little fancy report I'm not sure if you guys like my fancy reports or not but I hope uh, uh, this make uh, some difference when you see the report Let's change the color now with this report uh, if you see the header was not coming on every page uh, so we want that uh, to happen as well so here come come on this side advanced mode and now go to static uh, and uh, press f4 here you will be saying uh, repeat on new page uh, and then uh, keep with the group uh, after that so we are all good now let's go ahead and take a look it is uh, by default uh, returning us 10 records per row uh, per page next uh, so we have 10 records per if you want to have this one as a serial number fine if you don't you can call this one s number 
and uh, if you want to have a drop down let's uh, take a look again so now default is 10 we want five records it will show us five so you can take a look five records per page everything looking good and now if we want to have drop down let's go ahead and create a drop down parameter properties and available values specify values add and then here we'll say uh, let's say label what we want to 10 rows per uh, let's say page and then the value is 10 and then we can add another one we say 20 rows per page and then we have to provide 20 value so we are adding default values and here we say we can say that okay uh, 30 rows per page 30 and that's how you can add the values whatever you like so values you can write also the expression if you like okay if somebody maybe put something different value maybe you want to say greater than less than or all those kind of thing you can go ahead and build your expressions but I'm gonna show you at least a drop down so now you see that 10 rows per page that's a default we can go to the 20 rows so and refresh the report so now we would see 20 rows per page and then if you take a look on the first page let's come back to first page and here we see 20 rows then next page we have 20 from 21 to 40 and that's how you will see if you say 30 rows refresh the report now you will see 1 to 30 on the first page as you can see and then on the next page you will see from 31 to all the way to 60 so that's how you can create your report with the limiting the number of rows per page and use the parameter and pass that in the expressions uh, actually and use that in expressions here and uh, that's where you will be using uh, instead of hard coding those 10 or 20 rows per page you will be using the parameter value and that's how you will be controlling the number of rows per page uh, for your report thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video